Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Friday, it is afternoon. Uh, we have just finished school for the day and I told the girls, like we always have so much going on, they never get to just hang out and do whatever. But I mean, what kid does anymore because <laughs> School is hard, takes up all your time. But today, they're getting to do whatever they want for a couple of hours. And what they want to do is what? What are you guys doing? Playing SSO. Playing SSO on this computer. Look, it's like they're like one. Playing SSO on this computer, and what's on this side? Roblox. Roblox. So Sophie just. My name's whatever that is. What is your name? It says Just Silly Sophie up there, but you can't really see it. Just Silly Sophie, all one word. Yes. Yes, you can't even pay attention to me. Yeah, Just Silly Sophie. And who are you on the <laughs> Star Stables? Haley Eagle Daughter. Haley oh, Eagle Dollar Daughter. I'm on SSOT sometimes and I'm just not just Silly Sophie. Um, Juliet Bunnyfall. Jo Juliet Bunnyfall. So they're having some time on the computer. Guys, I love this game so much. So I hope to see some of you guys in Roblox. I just got it last night. Yeah, she's becoming quite the little uh, YouTuber um, with how she talks to you guys. Anyway, um, I'm just getting ready to wrap Jacob's birthday presents because it's his birthday this weekend. My grandson is going to be three. I'm getting a new grandson this year. It's just turning out crazy. Um, but before I even get started in this vlog, I just want to say, I have so many things to say to you guys. So many amazing things that I have to say, but the very first one is, you guys have been donating to help save Lola and her foal, and I am blown away by it. So overwhelmed with emotion, like you guys cannot even believe. Like, I, we asked you guys to help support somebody that we love and care for, and you guys said yes. Like, you just were like, yes, let's save them. And it's not even Christmas, it's not like, I don't even have words, you guys. I do not even have words. And for all of you guys who did do not donate financially, but donated all of your prayers, oh, I can't even, like, it's working, you guys. Lola is getting better. And I'm gonna update you guys in just a few minutes. But I just wanna say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. We are getting ready to go to the barn. Um, I don't know if we're gonna actually ride our horses today because oh, so much is going on and you guys don't even know, like, oh. Like, it's just really frustrating. But anyway, we just want to do what's best for them anyway. So we might just end up playing with them and hanging out with them. One thing you guys don't know is that my lesson got cut short again last night. And last week I didn't get to ride. Next week I'm not going to get to ride because the, I had to call the chiropractor. And she can't come um, till the end of next week. So I'm going to miss my lesson next week unless I can reschedule it. So that will be a month before I get to ride again. And it's really, really knocked my confidence. Like, I just feel sick inside. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, a lot of you guys probably know. Like, I feel like I don't have that exercise. Like, it, it's been my, my form of exercise for the last year. So I lost that, and it, that's frustrating. And I just feel, like, lost about it. And I feel like my confidence is less. Like, the longer I go without riding, the more scared I get. And then... <laughs> I felt like last night I was like, you know what, I just feel like maybe I'm not meant to ride, like maybe I'm gonna quit, because sometimes you just feel confident issues and it just feels stronger, I needed to eat some supper and I just was feeling bad. And what did you say to me this morning? Mm. What did you say? When when uh, you thought I was gonna quit riding? I forget. The little Sophie said, Mom, we never give up on our... Dreams. On our dreams. And the minute that she said that, I was like, you know what? We don't give up on our dreams. Like, we are not that family. We but it was never ever mom's dream to ride, though. Yeah, but it's my dream now. My dream is to ride with you guys. Well, you need a horse. I know, I need a horse. Like, so now we have no horses to ride because none of our horses are rideable and oh, this is such a mess. But I'm gonna persevere and I'm just gonna keep going and uh, whatever happened, happens. Whatever happens, happens. And I said this before, but that's what happens with riding. Like, you suffer lameness issues. Like, that's a common thing, guys. And um, your horse gets hurt somehow. It gets a sore back or it needs an adjustment or it, uh, horses always are having issues or your saddle is not right or or whatever the problem or is. Or you don't have enough saddle packs. Or you don't have enough horses or... You don't have enough saddle packs. 
Yeah, no, that's never an issue, especially in our family. family. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna get to ride for a while and it's just how it's gonna have to be. And if I have to go back to basics and start again and build my confidence up, I'm never letting go of my dreams as I want um, to teach my kids that that's the way it really is. Thanks, Sophia, for giving mama such good advice today. I love that, thank you. And the last thing I wanted to tell you guys, another thing that was so stressful about yesterday is that Storm is changing shape again and we need another saddle. Like I need an adjustable saddle. I need to get a saddle. We live in such a rural area that there's no way I can get a saddle fitter. I cannot get a saddle fitter. There is one in like a massive radius and the reviews are really bad. Like really, really bad. It's just better to not even buy a saddle. So I feel lost. Like I don't know. I feel like we don't have the things we need because I don't know how to get them. I like, oh, it's just so frustrating. Like I want to buy another saddle, like at least one saddle. I, I, I wish I could just go to the store and just buy a couple of saddles, but it just isn't possible. I just can't do it. Like, so that was another thing that ended up yesterday. Like I need to get a saddle and I don't know how to do it. And I, I can't do it. Like I talked to people at the new barn and they're like, yeah, you have to go here in Toronto and then you have to take pictures of your horse and and like I don't know that I don't think I don't know you guys this is just such a struggle but let's go see our horses they always cheer me up and like always leave any information you guys have in the comments below if you are in a rural area and you have no saddle fitters and you can't buy a saddle what the heck do you do Sophie may be getting her lunge line lessons that she's that people have been wanting. <laughs> so we're gonna try and do a lunge and lesson. We a lunge lesson on Stella. Um, we checked with the vet, and the vet said yes. I understand what you're saying, but what's happening is all usually middle to the back end of the ring when it yeah. starts. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just only been riding there. Did she rides in this half of the ring mm -hmm. till the confidence gets there. Is this what she's been doing? Oh no, that's nothing compared to what she's been doing. What I was saying to mom is we can get you on the lunge line, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was just do walk trot. And just do walk trot, exactly. And then there's two of you. Get down there. Two of you pulling on her if need be, right? And two of you screaming at the same time. No right? screaming. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. She's oh, <laughs> Nothing is ever scream worthy. All screaming does is scares them more and they run faster. I know. So. <laughs> I know. Um, but she does look at you and if you stand in front of her and raise your arm, she's like, okay, thank you. Yes, because she's a terrified. She's scaring herself. So. Trying to stand her again? No, not yet. I want you to put the stuff in your left hand in your right hand and put the whip in your left hand. So just one hand on the rope, one hand on the whip. So your whip is in your left hand. Do you know which left is right? I don't know. I don't know why. Switch hands. What's your left hand? There you go. Now leave that. Put that in your other hand. Now point the whip at her. And now keep sending her the same direction she was going. Yeah. Point the whip at her bum. Good. And then let her have that loop you just picked up. Let that loop go that you just picked up with your, there you go. Good. Now set your right hand down by your side. Right. Yeah. Point the tip of the whip at her bum, but on the ground. Down on the ground. Down lower. There. Whenever you raise the whip, it means go faster. Whip on the ground means thank you for listening. So now try bringing your rope hand Pull it, look at me, you're gonna pull it back and breathe out. Yeah, and then keep it and let her walk. I can't really hear her breathing out too, but the horse did. 
Yeah. That's breathe all that matters. Louder. Breathe, breathe louder. All right. Now you're going to quick lift first rod and just lift the tip of the whip off the ground. Lift the tip of the whip up. Right, the wrong, <laughs> wrong whip. There, and then drop it down because she lifts it. Good. The whip is just an extension of your hand. It's like you're waving your arm at her. Okay? And go ahead and ask her to canter and just hold your hand back at your body. Do not let her pull you. And wait, pull back. Just pull and hold. No, that's okay. Go. And then you'll notice that she balances out there. Now kiss, keep her going. There, not too many. Just one little kiss. So you notice when you kiss twice, she kind of gallops away a little bit. Then she balances out again. This is nice. This is where we want her. Right there. Brum, 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 brum. One little kiss just kept her going without sending her hot. Good. One little kiss. See how you saved it right at the moment that she's going to break? Now, pull your right hand, your rope hand back and breathe out, loud. Good, and now let her drop. Now, that's it, that's right, she needs to just work. Just let her drop for a minute until she calms down. Don't let her pick the walk time though. If she tries to just walk, you click. You make her keep going. She's not the decision maker and that's the biggest thing. So that's not a real try. Good going. Click, click. See how she decided that? So she just slowed right down and she's like, yeah, yeah you're not paying attention. My brain, this much information. I know. But it's all on video, so you can yeah, remember it. <laughs> Sophie's going to be doing it, not Gabby. Yeah, Sophie is going to be, and Gabby's going to be overseeing it. That's right. She's like, you're talking. I'm just going to do whatever I want. <laughs> probably wind up a couple of loops, but keep her Dad. walking. Dad. You're just bringing her a little bit you smaller sure circle while she's walking, so she's closer to you when you, you ask her to stop. Me. Don't you walk towards her. There you go. Good, now ask her to halt. So take up a chunk of rope, pull back and breathe out. Don't, now walk don't, to her and pet her on the forehead. Don't spit. <laughs> <laughs> don't spit at her. Don't spit at her. Maybe next time you want to wear proper shoes. <laughs> yeah, not Birkenstocks. I know, I better get my shoes on. Keep you warm. So, yeah, we have two horses and we can't ride either of them. Well, I could ride two. What are the chances of that? Again, I want to thank all of you guys for your best wishes, for your kind words, for your prayers, and your donations to help save Alola and her foal. Um, good news, she's doing really well. She has started passing the blockage um, in the night, and she's drinking well now, and things are moving along, and she's going to be coming home really, really soon. I have no doubt that a lot of that has to do with all of your guys' prayers. Obviously, she's going to have to be watched for a while when she does come home because you know that um, once a horse colics, they're prone to it again. And for being pregnant, she's definitely going to need to be watched.
much. I'm really excited for the day that we're gonna get to show you guys a Lola's Bowl, a Miracle Bowl. And I just honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.